Space dust talking to me. I love that sound. What is that, an ant race in the cosmos? Oh my god. Sounds like heaven on earth. Looks like I can find me a parking spot. you got huh. well truth is I was in I was in Costa Rica one time which was like a month ago or so you know what huh. I met this woman this beautiful woman and she was from Montana and this woman was ripping heads off chickens at the age of three That'll make you grow up quick, kids. Probably roosters, too. Who knows? She ripped the head off of a rooster. Well, she burped me. She literally picked me up on her back. Which I thought was the sexiest thing I've ever seen. And burped me. Like a three-year-old baby. Because I told her, in a sarcastic manner, I wasn't having any fun. No fun. Let me turn this down for you. Sorry about that. Maybe I should start over. Hmm. <laughs> You know, I'm the best storyteller ever that never told a story. Because I never tell a story. I just tell my life, which isn't even a story yet. Duh. So I meet this woman. She burps me. Because I say, huh. I wasn't having any fun. She asked me. Because the whole freaking time I'm saying I'm perfect. I'm perfect. Perfecto. Camille. Perfecto. Perfecto. Parfait. Juan Sheen. This guy knows. What does he know that I don't know? Wow. Well, I know nothing. Duh. Hmm. Anyways, this woman. Oh my god, so beautiful. Truly a beautiful person. And it was really the inside that made her outside that much more beautiful. She had a lot of trauma in her life, I could tell. Men were not nice to her. They beat her. Well, maybe they didn't beat her, but I could tell there was trauma. And you have to be cautious on how you approach women. Very cautious. And I knew that, because I'm a man, and she's a woman, and we're not dumb. You know, your polarities attract, things happen. And it comes back to what I was saying about, well, I have to see in the next video.